Christine, as Harvey dries out, this is the aftermath. Big piles of destroyed furniture, toys and pictures litter front yards block after block. Meantime, in East Texas today, it was another day of dramatic rescues. Helicopter rescue teams airlifted people to safety in the coastal town of Port Arthur. As soldiers and civilians searched door to door throughout the flood ravaged state for others in need of help. A week after Hurricane Harvey made landfall, Texas is still struggling to recover. The entire city of Beaumont lost its water supply Thursday, forcing the evacuation of an entire hospital. Texas is inspiring. America. Vice President Pence traveled to the affected town of Rockport Thursday, clearing debris and offering comforting words. Even in this difficult time, the very best of the people of Texas and the very best of the people of America is shining forth. The water is now gone in many neighborhoods, but massive piles of debris like this one are left behind. Families lost everything under their roof. What a mess. Oh, it is. Sid Cota's home was flooded three years ago, but that was just a few inches. We figured both of those were just accidents, but this time was a knockout punch. Despite losing most of their possessions, the Cota family is determined to rebuild. I want to raise the house six or eight feet, or demo it and build a brand new house. But you're not leaving? No, I'm not leaving. They say they'll fight it out and stay in the community they've called home for more than a decade. The rebuilding phase could take months, but most likely it will take years for a lot of these areas. It's estimated the damage could reach $75 billion. Live in Houston, I'm Meg Oliver. Christine, back to you.